You know, I've had the ability to travel across the world with the American Farm Bureau uh, Trade Advisory Committee. And I can tell you that farmers in Cuba, farmers in Russia, farmers in China were delighted to be, would be delighted to have the expertise that American farmers have enjoyed through the Extension Service. Um, we're also starting to partner at the uh, local level with Extension with a, a number of different uh, events to help spread the word about Farm Bureau membership. It's amazing how many farmers don't understand what Farm Bureau does for them. Last night, uh, President Jim Clements gave the uh, keynote address here in your dinner. Any takeaways from the remarks you made? You know, it's a, it's a breath of fresh air, and I have a high degree of respect for all the past presidents of Clemson University. But as a 1971 graduate, I saw a, a leaning toward becoming a uh, humanities university. And I'm delighted with uh, Jim Clement's com comments about agriculture and his history, how important he sees extension is, and uh, even more importantly, the, uh, the new provost and his background in agriculture and how important that will be to rebuilding a number of programs that really took hits during the recession in 2006 through uh, 2008. You mentioned last year that this is your last year as president of the, uh, what's going to be the major push for the Farm Bureau here over the next year? Well, my major, my major push in the next year, uh, my, my plan last year as president, is to get the organization back to basics. And basics meaning using the tools that we have at our disposal today for the individual Farm Bureau member to make a difference. That's where our strength is, is being able to call out the troops, to be able to make an impression on members of the General Assembly, but we've got to reach out to a greater extent. We've got to make an impression on local county councils, we've got to make an impression with students in the classroom, uh, and we've got to make impressions through more traditional media like newspapers and uh, opinion ed editorial pieces. I appreciate it. We'll let you get back to work. Thanks.